Hello, everyone, and welcome to Quad Radio, as today we interview AMAA TV pro sophomore, and that is Joel Hetrick. Uh, Joel, uh, welcome to Quad Radio here on a Thursday preseason, and uh, from what I understand, the announcement has been made, and uh, you are now a uh, Can-Am rider. Yeah, well, I can be here in uh, yeah, Can-Am. We, uh, we decided to go with the deal. I mean, they called us up and gave us this offer and we couldn't pass it up. It was a great deal and I've been riding the bike for about a month so far and couldn't like it anymore. I mean, uh, it's working really well and everything's going together pretty good. That's great. And I also read here recently, Joel, that uh, you made your way down to Texas to your training compound down there and it looks like uh, training is well underway for you right now. Oh yeah, we, uh, me and Sean Taylor, another pro am rider, uh, and just hitting the gym every day and riding together and just uh, doing everything we can do to be ready for the first round. For sure. And uh, what's uh, the training been like uh, down there in Texas? I know uh, up north from where we're from, up here I am, and you two over in Pennsylvania, I know that you know the weather's been okay here, not a lot of snow, but uh, we've been getting a lot of rain. What's it been like down there? Well, we got some rain yesterday. It made the track a little wet, but we have another sand track. It just soaked it right up, so we'll be out there today. I mean, it just got off the track, and uh to do another moto here soon, and everything's going great so far. I mean, the weather's in the mid-70s every day, and just uh, can't beat it. That's great, dude. And uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, your uh, rookie season. I know we jumped right into the K&M thing, but that's the thing that I, I guess is on everybody's tongue right now. That's the big news that's been uh, uh, heralded here lately. But uh, let's back up and uh, talk about that first uh, rookie season, your first year as an AMAA TV pro. How was that for you? Well, we had some problems in the beginning, but, I mean, that's just everyone has that. It uh, turned out to be a really good year, though. I won two races, Unadilla and Loretta's, and won both motos of each race. Um, I mean, that was fantastic. It was great for our team and great for the new bike I was riding at that time. And, uh, I mean, really no problems other than that. That's great, and I know that, uh, like you said, you had those problems earlier in the season. It didn't seem like you, you let that shake you a whole lot. I know a lot of people were probably putting a lot of pressure on you, at least from a fan standpoint, you know, expecting Joel to win, expecting Joel to win, but you look like you just bided your time, man. You, d- you didn't push the envelope too much. Well, I, I didn't let it get me down too much. Uh, I was trying to just push through all the bad and uh, let the good come to me, and it finally did, and that Honda worked out really well for me, and just uh, it was a great change, I guess. So let's fast forward a little bit to the end of the season. I start hearing rumors that Joel may be riding under the tent with John the Tally in the 2012 season, and that was right at the end, if you know, not right before, just after. But around that time, those rumors started floating around a little bit. Nothing was really ever said out in the media or anything like that. What what was that uh, story really like? Tell us how it all came down. Um, just Johnny from MotorWorks. He talked to my dad, and he uh, ran an idea by us. And I don't know how it got leaked out, but you know, it's it just happens and stuff. Yeah, we just were talking about that, and it finally came true. And uh, just I guess that's how it all happened. Yeah, that's pretty good. So was it something that uh, took a while to work out, or did they offer you a pretty good deal right from the start? Oh, it was a good deal. It's just we, uh, you know, the contract stuff that took a little while. But, uh, yeah, once all that was signed, it was, I mean, it was a, I don't know how you can say it, just it was a done deal from the start, I guess. We weren't going to say no, and they wanted me, and it was uh, it was just uh, the contract stuff was taking so long and the press release and, but now it's out there, and there you go, ready to race. That is great, man. And I assume you've had some uh, some time on the uh, Can-Ams. Yeah, yep. Uh, about a month and probably a month and a half so far, and no problems. And I'm just really getting used to it. Uh, it's working really well. The everything about it. I mean, I got used to it the first time I rode it. So I mean, I'm going to go out there the first round and uh, give it my all. And, try to get an overall now joel i know you've had some factory support in the past as an amateur uh, what are you expecting or what are you hoping for out of the uh, sponsorship that you got with uh motorworks 
Um, I mean, nothing more than I can I ask for, I guess. I mean, they're giving me everything I need to go out there and uh, win races, and that's, that's all we really want. That's great, man. It sounds like you got a great positive attitude. And it's good to be able to get so comfortable on a bike so quick. I know a lot of times when guys make a change, you know, there's some uh, hesitation and a lot of things to get used to. Doesn't sound like you had a lot of that. No, it was, it was uh, shocking for me as a rider. I thought it was going to be really different. And my dad, he wasn't too sure about it. But we went out to California and you know, got a couple laps in. And I just, I told him, I was like, it feels like a Honda and it turns great and then I can't beat it. Yeah, we want to do it. That's that's what I said to him. So we just took the deal and go from there. That's great. And uh, I know your dad's been a big part of your program your entire career. Well, basically has, you know, been there the entire time and I'm sure he will continue to be, but uh, what aspect is your dad going to be at the races? Cause I know he supported a lot of racers last year. Yeah, we're going to, uh, he's going to be a vendor. I mean, or our trailer is, and we're going to be up in the front selling parts for, I mean, any quad. And they're going to be doing that and uh, haul bikes for people. And just, uh, he's going to be mechanic for probably a bunch of guys at the races. That's great. It kind of frees him up a little bit to help some of those other up and comers, I guess, now, huh? Oh, yeah, for sure. We don't have to be so stressed out the whole time worrying about my bike. It's all, it's all done. They just, they take care of all that. So he's just going to do his own thing. That's great. Well, Joel, I know you're a young guy, and you like to have a lot of fun and, and this and that. So what's things really like down there right now? I know there's a lot of work going on as far as focusing on the 2012 season, but there's got to be some lighter moments aside from just the uh, training. Huh. Yeah, I mean, there's really not much to do down here. It's a small town, but I've been going to the RC car shop and blowing some money there, and we've been building tracks and having fun with them things and uh, just being kids. <laughs> that's great man and it's good that you can still work that into your schedule uh, uh so i know in years past that you've been down at the man shacks is that where you're at now yes that's where i'm at now uh, where's that located exactly there in texas i mean not necessarily exactly but about anyway uh about 36 miles north of houston Okay, so it's I'm I'm sure the, I'm sure you got great weather down there year round pretty much. Uh, what's the racing been like for you so far? What's that? Uh, say that again? The racing. Have you been racing any? Oh no, there's uh, a local race coming up uh, February, like the first week of February. I might race it, but I'm not too sure yet. Just been practicing right now. Lap times, comparison to years past. How are you uh, shaping up against those? I actually put the lap time around yesterday, and it was pretty much exactly the same for a 30-minute motor the whole way. I mean, constant lap times, and I mean, maybe a second off of what I have been in the past, but I mean, I'll, I'll get back to the, the past speed I'm at, I was at. Wow, that's pretty impressive. So you're going into this season with a lot of high hopes, it looks like, then. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to give it my all, and I mean, I'm not going to let the Canyon and Motorworks team down. I mean, they're going to put so much money in this, I'm going to put everything I have into this. That's great, man. That's a great attitude to have, and there's not a lot of folks get the opportunity that you got, so uh, make the best of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. So uh, any anything else before we let you go going on down there or that you want to let the folks out in Quad Radio Land know what's going on or anything? Well, not too much. Just, I mean, we're building sand tracks, uh, getting used to the rough stuff. So hopefully I'll be better at the rougher tracks like Red Bud, so I won't, won't fall off there again. Or No problems anywhere this year. I just want to be ready for every track, and anything that comes in my way, I just want to be ready for it, and I want to get that championship. Wow. Sounds like last year was a great learning year for you. Obviously, you uh, you did exactly what you needed to do. You got your endurance level up. The equipment was running strong. You were mentally and physically strong at the end of the 2011 season. And I say these boys better be watching out. I mean, uh, uh, it looks like you're coming in with some momentum, but uh, there's a lot of you that's going to be doing that this year, it looks like. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. I mean, all the other guys are wanting, to, wanting the same thing. They all want a championship and they ain't going to let let it go easy but I mean, it's just whoever works harder and whatever a tad bit faster for them 25 minute motos there you go now one last question how about the champ himself have you had a chance to work much with john the tally yet or is that something you guys are just going to do basically at the track uh we will be 
together, I believe, February 14th, I think, the middle of Feb. So down there in Florida, that's where I'll meet up with him and get to do some riding with him probably teach me a couple things, but maybe I'll teach him something, too, so we'll see how that goes. There you go. So you guys planning on hitting some uh, races down there in Florida, then? Yeah, I'm sure if there's a couple going on, maybe the SSQSA will go over there and race with them guys. All righty, Joel, and uh, you said uh, you may be racing some coming up here soon. When is that? So in case somebody happens to be listening in, in close by, can come check out the action. Uh, I'm not sure of the date. But it's at Three Palms, and um, I don't really know where the location of the track is. But yeah, it's at Three Palms. I mean, you can look it up, look up the website, and the first quad race you're going to have is uh, either this weekend or the next, and I'll be there. All righty, man. That sounds real good. Joel, I really appreciate you taking the time out to talk with us today. I know that uh, you've been pounding out some motos, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Just Like I said, I just got off the track about 15 minutes ago. And uh want to do the quad radio talk. That's great, Joel. Glad to have you on today and glad you took the time to be out here on quad radio. So before we let you go, can you tell us what the rest of the day holds for Joel Hattrick? Um, I'm going to probably get out on my track again and come off, wash my stuff up, eat some food, and let's do some RC cars again. There you go. Sounds like you got uh, got some good times ahead of you, man. Keep up the good work, and uh, we look forward to talking to you again real soon. All righty. That's Joel Hetrick. I'm Rodney Tomlin. This is Quad Radio.